Hello everybody, thank you so much for clicking and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I am called Elster Africa. And uh, in today's episode, I'm going to be taking you to one of these slum sites of uh, Douala, Cameroon. It is called Kuwait. That's the, I would say it's like the opposite version of Kuwait, the Kuwait we know about, which is a country. Like this is a neighborhood in Cameroon, like it's just a new neighborhood which people are like trying to build some kind of houses and all of those kind of stuff i think that you get it so i'm gonna be i have the video here so i want to like make like a review of the video because i think that this should be one of its kind on this channel so i want to like make some kind of like an exceptional one this time around um i just hope that you guys gonna love it and uh, like right now as you watch on your screen i am driving through to kuwait this is the road that leads you to the place at like on my left hand i think that when you look well you can see like there is it is gated some kind of gated yeah it, this gate is like i think the land inside is for the airport and uh, as we drive through we can see like some infrastructure and the road is graded not that much big yeah which is something which is very peculiar with cameroon and uh, it gets to this point where the road is just how do i even go i don't know how to put it it is not graded like it gets to the worstest part of this i would say it's the toughest part of this journey like i'm just gonna ask you that please consider watching this this video throughout because you're probably gonna learn something new this is the part of dollar cameroon where most people have not been to and uh, so I just decided to take you on a journey through to this place like the camera i know that it was not stable it could not even be stable because the road is just extremely bad i don't know most people always say that it's like the government will one day like evacuate everybody in this place so i don't know what is happening like right now if you can look well i am at uh, the how do i call it the junction yeah at the junction and uh, you can see the state of the road even before i got to this place like this dirty water is it got into my shoes so if you are going to this place be ready for whatsoever can happen at any moment or you look for a bike that can be able to contain you except that you have got your car but don't take your new car to go hmm? to go get it bad in this place you get it yeah like most of you don't know much about this place as you're going through to this place you're gonna notice that where human waste when i say human waste i think that you understand where you poop all of these things huh? where they take this thing to dump them is on the road as you're going to this place i think that when we get there yeah like right now you can see this place on your screen and you can see the state of the road it is so so bad extremely bad like man my camera was so shaking but i just think that the essence was for you to see what goes on in this place and uh, I just hope that you will love this video it was taking you to the other side of Douala Cameroon um, those for those of you that that has always been coming for me like the city view like the city center and most of those places have been showing you that it is a dump or did you call it a village <laughs> I don't know how you're gonna read this one I don't know how we're gonna read this one I call it the slum side of Douala Cameroon, even though there are many, but this was just one of its kind. Yeah. And one funny thing too is that people even live beside where this uh, human waste is being dumped. Like, and the houses here are just so, so exceptional. I think that this is just like a part one of this video. So, expect a part two because I didn't go right inside because something I was saying, like I really went here for something particular so I think that you're just gonna manage the images I show you in this video yeah now we drive to drive through you're gonna see that like you know in many neighborhoods you would find like a police station a gendarmerie station all of that but that's not the case in this part of the city I don't know what's happening probably everybody will be evacuated from this place one day because most people living here have got no land city, you can no building permits. I mean like they just build at random. But then the government is not saying anything. And one day you might just hear of another destruction somewhere 
maybe when they'll be like trying to expand like the the airport and yeah that's just it and most people here are mostly people from the english speaking part of cameroon people from the northern part of cameroon like the far north garwa maro i don't know if that's where they are coming from and probably people who are like should i say people who are from out of cameroon like from chad and i think that central africa all of this yeah, you get to see most of these people here so it's more like of a, a village view here but that's just part of the city i just hope that maybe with time things are gonna change and we will see some kind of big advancement in this part of the city okay and so i just thought i should do this this is a part one if you enjoy it and if you want to see more of such videos Please leave a comment and tell me what you think about this video so that maybe I could go like for a part two of this video deep inside this neighborhood of Guala. Like it is called Kuwait. It's the opposite of Kuwait. The Kuwait we know about, which is a country. This is Kuwait city of Cameroon. <laughs> opposite of everything, you know. So if you're new here, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Also click the bell icon. Like bling bling. You get it. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also share so that many others will come here, learn more and know something new. It's Elster Africa here. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.